Football inspires us. So, our goal is to see it everywhere in the world, in the best possible conditions. We are Media Pro. Europe's leading football event production, management and transmission company. Rights holders to the biggest footballing competitions on the planet. Producing sporting events in more than 13 countries on four continents. Our fleet of OB units provides coverage for sporting events in every corner of the globe. Using state-of-the-art technology to cover everything, right down to the smallest detail of every match. And if it doesn't yet exist, then we invent it. We champion specialized systems to be used both inside the stadium as well as outside. Informative virtual content that converts each match into a unique experience. And of course, we help to implement every element that assists this sport in moving with the times. As a result, our seven themed channels specializing in football and other sports provide the very best in audiovisual quality. And of course, in content too. Bienvenidos a la nueva Real Madrid Televisión. La pantalla de ESPN. Try and guide Aston Villa. Repasamos ya los resultados que obtuvo Chevez y Spojan. At Media Pro, our craft is ensuring that televised football becomes a more unique and spectacular experience every day. And to do so, we have the perfect formula. A balance between technology, tenacity and talent. We are Media Pro. Okay, that's what we are. Uh, first thing I want to say is, uh, this, you probably have seen many videos during these days here in Soccer X. This video has probably a difference between all the others. This is not just a video that takes images from many different sources and then edited them. All the images that you've seen, all have been produced by MediaPro. No matter which league you see, no matter which uh, studio, no matter what, all these images, there's no one sole image that is not produced by us, because that's specifically what we do. So it's not a video that we have gone to buy images from other sources and then editing. It's just uh, our, everything is ours. Media Pro uh, is a unique company that has been able to expand through the world, through the whole world, its model of concentrating under the same umbrella the sports rights distribution, the provision of audiovisual services, the creation of all types of IP content, cinema, television, series, news, documentaries, the research, investigation, and development of new technical resources for television, and many, many other audiovisual products and that make Media Pro a company without parallel you will not find a company in the world that is doing all these under the same umbrella. Media Pro is very well known in the world of soccer, mainly for some products that we distribute. But before going into that, let me explain you briefly about the real Media Pro. Okay. Media Pro was created 25 years ago by three passionate TV producers, starting from zero. Now we are 6, 000, more than 6,500 people working in the company. Working in more than 50 cities, in more than 30 countries, in the five continents. And who is working in MediaPro? And the numbers you will see are quite amazing. 175 writers, 126 directors, 1,561 journalists, 931 producers, 
83 engineers, 358 camera operators, and 1,442 audio and video technicians. You see that this is a huge company with great talent working in all different uh, aspects of the audiovisual sector. These people work in our venues in Barcelona, Madrid, Paris, London, Rome, Milano, Singapore, Buenos Aires, Miami. We have a beautiful and very big facilities here in Miami with the studios and with all everything that is needed for, for the audiovisual services. New York, Bogota, Santiago, and an almost non-ending list because it's growing and growing every, day, every, every year. Next one we're going to open very soon will be Media Pro in Beijing and in Shanghai. This unique strategy from the very beginning of the company of putting all these things together has what has happened 25 years later, where we are now. So 25 years later, this strategy has created one of the world leaders in sports rights distribution and management. We are, we are very well known because we are the agent of the, for distribution of the Spanish Football League in the world. Very well known for this, but our strategy and the way we operate in the market is not like a normal agency. We don't go, and this we have done it for many years, we don't go just and buy the rights and then we sell them. We think that we have to be involved in the product. Our goal is to take care of the product. In this case, we talk about soccer or football. We want to take care of this product in football. So we not only get the rights, we have to be in touch with the owner of the rights. We have to uh, participate in what is happening in the stadium. We produce it with our OB bands. And we, we, then we send the signal to our clients. And we give many other services to other clients, news, documentaries. So, and we are working hard every day to improve the quality of the product. Not only the quality of the product of, of, our, of, of our productions that we do, but also the quality of the product of what is happening on the turf. Regarding the Spanish Football League, for instance, we are very proud, and I think that if you speak with our friend Javier Tebas, they will tell you that Media Pro has been one, one of the responsibles, of course not the only one, maybe not the main one, but one of the responsibles of this enormous increase in perception and in coverage that the, F the Spanish Football League has had in the world. The quality of the product that the Spanish Football League is giving now to the world is very good because of the involvement because be between the league and the television content provider that it's us. Our strategy is also not only distributing rights, but also we want to, we, well, our strategy is also to have and buy and distribute rights on dom domestic rights, which is not very frequently as an agent. We have had the rights of the Spanish Football League for many years in Spain, we still have this year, and we distribute these rights to our channels. We try to have the Argentinian League, we almost had the rights for Italian. We do have the rights now for the French League. And starting 2020, we're going to distribute by ourselves the, all the matches of the French League in France. That's also a different approach because normally the type of companies like ours, they do not distribute domestic rights. They, they fix their strategy on the international rights. This, this strategy that I'm saying 20 years ago of producing everything since we got the company has created also one of the world leaders on audiovisual services production, especially of live sports events. We produce all the matches, or almost many of the matches, of the leagues of Spain, part of France, part of Italy, Portugal, Greece, Turkey, Colombia, Bolivia, Gabon, Kenya, and Angola. And I'm sure that still some others that I have missed. We produce events as a hot broadcaster, like the FIFA World Cup, the UEFA Champions League, the Olympic Games, the Africa Cup of Nations, Formula One, until 6,000 production 
F productions every year. This is almost unique in the world. And we do that with a fleet of 68 obi bands in 4K, HD, and 3D, distributed this fleet throughout the world. And after 25 years, this strategy has created also a leader in IP content production and developing. Our films have been awarded with Oscar Academy Awards, with Golden Globes, among other awards. And our series are being distributed by Netflix, Amazon, HBO, DirecTV, Sky, Movistar, Channel 4, and some of the other most relevant free-to-air TVs in the world. But also in content, we have a relevant vision of sports as we have produced many factual documentaries. For example, All or Nothing Manchester City for Amazon, which I recommend you strongly because it's a great documentary, not because it's made by us, but because it's great by itself. We have also produced by Amazon Six Dreams, another factual documentary about the Spanish Football League. And we are on our way to producing more of this factual sports document. And we also produce a fiction scripted by Javier Tebas, the president of Spanish Football League, with uh, Todo por el Football, all for, all for football, uh, that it's, has been distributed here for, in the world by DirecTV. And it's going to be in Spain starting next week or in two weeks for, by Movistar. Another important division of, of, of Media Pro is Media Pro Exhibition. We have created and developed the audiovisual museums of many clubs and federations, transforming what it was a boring trophy room in a spectacular exhibitions and experiences with the last technology in place. The result is that the Football Club Barcelona Museum, made by us, is now the number one visited museum in the city of Barcelona. The Real Madrid Museum is one of the five, three, three or five most visited museums in the city of Madrid. But we have done many others in Milan, in Marseille, in Mexico, in Sao Paulo. It's a great division and it's making more and more exhibitions every year. But our state of the art, our real specialization is soccer. We want the fans in the whole world to watch soccer as they have never seen it before. This is our goal. The fans, the clubs, and the platforms are demanding every year more and more technical advances in a match coverage. We at MediaPro invest every year millions of dollars in getting new cameras, new shots, new angles. Our yearly coverage of El Clasico, Real Madrid, Barcelona, proves that. But also the fact that we were the first company, for instance, to produce matches in 3D or to produce matches in virtual reality that we are already, we are still doing. This is the reason we are one of the world leaders in the implementation of the VIR system, a reality that is here. We all know about the VIR. It's now after the World Cup is in almost everywhere, and it will be everywhere in a short while. We provide the VIR services to several leagues and several competitions in the world, uh, uh, among them the Spanish Football League, the Portuguese League, Mexican League, Libertadores, and some others. So what are we doing in the continent, in America? Now we are in the middle of, of a strategy of increased presence and business in the whole continent. We have offices now in Buenos Aires, offices and studios in Buenos Aires, but those were there already 20 years ago. Miami, that we have been here with studios and offices more than 15 years. Bogota, where we have also studios, and we've been there for more than five years. Bolivia, where we are producing all the Bolivian League, and we have our venues there 
we've been there for three years, I think. But we have new venues in Santiago, in Lima, in New York, and in Mexico. In, and in New York, including also new studios. Plans for the region, for us, I can resume them in only one word. And this word is grow. I think that there is a tremendous opportunity for a company like Media Pro in the region. Rights distribution will be, and already are, more open, transparent, and professional. Both CONCACAF and CONMEBOL have made and are making significant steps on this direction. I have to congratulate them on that. And this is good opportunity for us. We prefer, or we only want to be in places where there is a professional and open market than the places where there are closed, closed markets. Regarding audiovisual services in live production, the market will and is already demanding more quality, more technical resources, more cameras, more special cameras, more developed statistics, more graphics, more data. So the market, the market at the end, what is demanding is more media pro, because this is exactly what we do. As I was saying, our goal in the whole world is not just, is not just going there and buy and sell or produce a match. We want to be involved. And we have done that in many parts of the world. Here in the, in the, in the region, we started in, in, with the Argentinian League. We bet, so we submit a tender to have the domestic rights of the Argentinian League with a project of cooperation with AFA. I think that the AFA people understood very well the benefits of having an agreement with us because we, we explain them that we don't want just to be their distributors, to have the rights and sell them and make money. We want to work with them to make, or we wanted to work with them to make Argentinian football much more known and much more distributed in Argentina and in the world. So we explained them very well our strategy, which is the same strategy we had in Italy, in France, in Spain, some other countries. They understood it very well, but for different reasons, they finally decided to take another, another option. In fact, that was our first uh, entrance so strongly in the region, so it's fine for us. We have now won the tender for the production of the Pan American Games in Lima next year. We're going to send to Lima our OB bands, around 15, 16 OB bands. It will be a huge production. I think that it will be one of the biggest production that has ever been made in the, in the region. And we will take advantage of that to leave some of the OB bands in Peru and to start also operations in that country. Also, with the same goal, give the best services and the, the best quality of the services. I be, we believe that in the, the region is really needing a good step forward in quality of production. We also bought one year ago the, nas the, national, the Chilean national team rights for the qualifiers for the World Cup 2022 and also the, and also the marketing rights of the Chilean national team. We're going to produce, I think it's today or tomorrow, I don't know when it is, the, the friendly match of the national, of the national team. Uh, and for the first time, it will not be a Chilean company who produces this match. It will be Media Pro, in fact, Media Pro Chile, who will produce this friendly match of the, uh, of the national, team, Chile national team. And I hope that the, the fans and the consumers will be able to see the difference in quality of production from ours at the, at the production that it was before. We will try to give another step forward. We have also been awarded with, to create the hub of the new Copa Libertadores for the next year. So we not only will produce all the matches in Bolivia and in Colombia for the Libertadores, 
but we will also be in charge of receiving all the images in our hub in Buenos Aires, and then also to distribute this signal all over the world. So this is another step forward. So me, I think that Media Pro, who is a very well known in parts of the world for how, they how we work in the audiovisual sector, in the next, I was, I was going to say the next years, in the next months, in the next weeks even, is going to be an important player in the region, an important player, is an important player in the United States, it's, but it's going to be one of the most important players regarding rights distribution and sports audiovisual services in the region. We believe very much that this is the part of the world where we have to be, where there's going to be the growth in the next years, and we want to take advantage of that. We started this, this operation uh, like uh, this strategy in the, in the region like two years ago, and I think that we are now very well positioned to be there, to, to be here, to give services to all the clubs, to all the platforms, and to all the different operators in the sector. Uh, I don't know how this works here, if there are questions or not. I'm ready to take them. If not, uh, thank you very much for, for listening to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> ah, there is a microphone, so if anyone wants to make a question, I'm ready to, I'm happy to, to answer them. Normally, nobody make, uh, uh, makes that question to me because everybody uh, understands so well what I've said <laughs> that there's no question. Everybody is really, they, they, they really come up with it. But in the rare case that someone needs another explanation, I'm ready to give it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, wait. Well, you have the microphone there, yeah. Good morning, I'm Marcel Bonato here. I have a question because seeing your work, first of all, congratulations to what you have done with the La Liga. Now, being a born and raised Brazilian, I see the Brazilian League and I see that those rights are now being commercialized overseas. How do you feel about looking at such a powerful market in a way, yet a market that is not exploited outside of Brazil as well, such as the La Liga, for an example? Yeah, Brazil is a great market. It's a, it's a huge market, so it's very much uh, for any company, uh, any company wants to go to Brazil and make business in Brazil. Uh, I must tell you, it's a little bit difficult. It's not easy. Okay. And, and we are very, what we say, opportunistic. When we go to a country, it's because we've been able to start with something. For instance, we went to Chile. We had nothing in Chile. We went to Chile one year ago because we were able to buy the rights of the national team. And then we start Media Pro Chile and we start to offer all kinds of services. I hope that one day we will be able to have uh, an opportunity in, in Brazil and we will be able to grow in this huge market. I think it's a fantastic market, but a little bit difficult to, to be there. And of course, regarding the Brazilian league, I, I, I have always asked myself why Brazil, being such a powerful country in, in, in football, why it is not, why has not the international exposure that, that has some other countries? And sometimes I think that it's because the structure of the league, it's, it's not what it should be. I think that uh, Brazil should take should take a look at other, at other experiences, maybe the Spanish Football League, and try to improve on that way in order to be more international. Okay, so thank you very much for your patience, and see you soon, okay? <laughs> By the way, we have a, we have a, we have a, we have a boot here, Na uh, number 232. Two, three, two. So if you want to go there, they will show you everything we do. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>